it's nice. It's so nice to be given a chance to actually choose uh, that you're not only looking for people who can write, but there were two other things that I was looking for. One was who's had an interesting life. Uh, that this, because these are not 19-year-old undergraduates. These are people who are bringing life experience with them. And for writers, um, it's always interesting to have people who can reflect on, uh, you know, a multitude of things in their lives. And so we have a number of, I don't know if we want to call them, you know, they're sort of career changers in, in a way. You know, someone who walked, worked in the automotive industry for 20 years, someone who was an investment banker, someone who is a lawyer for the feds, you know, and. People like that are obviously bound to have a lot of things that they're not only very eager to say, but they bring with them a lot of experience. So I was kind of looking for that, um, which isn't to say that if some brilliant 21-year-old had come along, I wouldn't have taken him or her, but mm -hmm. I was hoping for, you know, sort of adult experience. Um, and the other one was that some of them, um, either they commented themselves or I thought that the, um, not only the multi-genre um, possibilities here would be interesting, um, because in fact, we, you know, some people have done work with the artists and the composers, but you know, not a, it's not a huge, huge amount of that. Um, but still, that they looked like they were open to that. And then you had asked me to make a kind of statement about what it was that I wanted to do, and I was talking about trying to introduce or remind people of the kind of versatility that they could bring to their work and crossing genre lines. I really believe that prose writers need to be able to read and write poetry, and whether good or bad doesn't matter, but need to be comfortable with it. And, and so I think I may have talked about the fact that there are many ways to tell a story, and first thought is not best thought. I know I said that because a few people commented on it, and that I was hoping there'd be people who were open to experiment, and I like to teach with exercises, with prompts. Today I decided I should call them provocations. Um, and today I actually brought in just a big grab bag of things we hadn't had a chance to do, but I gave them, you know, things to kind of play around with, um, in addition to talking to them about their own, you know, the work that they had brought. And I was eager to find people who wanted to do that kind of thing, you know. Not everybody looks like they will. Um, not everybody commented on that, but a lot of them said, oh, I'm really eager to do that, mm -hmm. you know. Or, I know your work and I think I can get something from that. Of course, that's always, you know, it's useful. It's not, it's not brown nosing, it's, it's saying, I think there's something that you have that, you know, you might be able to share um, fruitfully with me. So, those are the things I was looking for. And again, it was a privilege to be able to choose the people. I've had a chance to choose students in the past when I've taught in Italy, which I did for many years, but you know, the, the uh, standards were much lower, frankly. I mean, it was, can, does this person seem to be, have any kind of language going at all? But that was about it. I, my, here, the bar was much higher, really. And I really felt bad about some of the people that I couldn't take. And I think I told you, I wrote to some of them to say, you know, you get a lot of letters in your lifetime that say there was so much competition, I'm sorry that we couldn't take you, but I really wanted you to know I meant it seriously because some of them were, I think, probably, I could have constituted half again as many people to make a different class that would have been equally good. You know, it just turns out in the end, finally, we were arbitrary. I also, I ruled out a couple people who'd been here before, just on the grounds that they had the experience. And I'm sure they would love to come back. And if there hadn't been so much good competition, I would have invited them back, because one of them in particular, that I, somebody who had been with me in Italy. I met her at the Y when I was doing a master class there in New York. Then she came to Italy, and once or twice, I don't remember, and I just thought, she's been here a few times, and I just thought, okay, you know, that's great, but let's give somebody else a chance, you know? Um, so there were a few of those. There were a number of people. Um, I did choose one person who had with, been with me in Italy, actually, Amber, um, because she sounded like she was at a point in her work when she really wanted some help. Um, so, you know, being able to choose, but to choose at a really high level was just wonderful. And, and it truly has paid off because they're marvelous. They've been absolutely terrific game, very talented, hardworking. They've just been terrific. I didn't know. I was actually afraid some of them have such intimidating backgrounds that I was, I was kind of thinking, you know, do I have anything to offer these people? I mean, we've got people with a lot of international experience, and we've got a Rhodes Scholar here. 
um, and some people who've um, you know already published a lot. And I kind of was thinking, oh boy, I don't know. You know, I hope I've got something to give them. Um, of course, they always have a lot to give each other, which is part of the really part of what's always interesting about groups like this. So my expectations, I didn't really quite know what to expect. I mean, um, I didn't, um, you know, I have to say, in spite of the fact that you have terrific photographs of the place, you talk about the prize-winning architecture and the chance for people to work together, you can't really know until you're here exactly what the feel of it is like. So um, I was, um, I don't really quite know what my expectations were. They were a little bit vague. You know, I was going to see what it was, but as I said, I was, I was actually a little intimidated by the um, accomplishments of some of the people. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, it turns out that they may be life accomplishments. It doesn't mean that their writing is anywhere near finished, of course, and I should know that. But. So, anyway, my expectations have more than been met, whatever they were. <laughs>